In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever the time may be, welcome back, it's episode 19, we are about to dive right on in, the first order of business is of course, of always, a birdhouse, uh, but actually before that, I guess it's the second order of business, I am just going to buy the items that we need for family crest, and then we'll go do the birdhouse run. Also gonna get some nature runes, because we need more nature runes for alks. We're gonna be alking today while we're questing. And then yeah, we're on to freeing another council member, baby. It's time to set the dwarf free. R release him from his in capture. Words are apparently not my strong suit today. So let's see if game plays any better. And I'm hoping we can get all the cooking done as well to have Hero's Quest startable tomorrow, if not finished. I'm actually just gonna sell all this raw stuff because it's not gonna be worth it over Karam ones. And we don't need that anymore either. Not that they're worth much, but underpricing and everything because I just want it to instant sell so it's not taking up space. Okay, quest items. Oh, we've got Uncle Rubies in the bank, we can just use those. Casby teleport is actually not that bad. Wow, that had to get a necklace mold, huh? Okay, we need two rubies. So let's just cut those right now. No reason not to. But I do want to get a birdhouse run started before it gets too late to do a double claim. Oh, we need anti-poison as well. I don't know if we... I think we have like a single dose, but we're going to need more than that. We've got a double dose, but we'll get some regular anti-poison. And I'll get a Lumberyard teleport as well. Okay. Bank everything. Oh, nature runes, nature runes. I'm going to get a thousand. Okay, we want Jewel and Dig Sight Glory. We've got teleports. We want our lava staff. We'll take this too. I think we are pretty good to go. Get the birdhouse stuff. Oh, and our alks. Cool. Fossil Island. It asks us to take 50 minutes, so uh, we should be a okay here once we got these in. I'm like a couple levels away from the next tier of Birdhouse. I'm not sure what crafting level we need for it though. Oh, and I'm gonna swap over to uh, the RFD Dwarf. I believe we still need to yeah, inspect him. We couldn't do it before because we didn't have fishing contest done. Okay, that is the birdhouse is done. We'll get an energy reset. And then we're heading straight to Lumbridge. Maple seed, 4.5k, not terrible. Oh, we probably want some stamina and energies. Mm, do we need anything else right now? I don't think we do. We'll just get the quest stuff. Oh, and we should get our Catherby teleport as well. And the stuff for the fish pie. Yeah, because we're going to get to White Wolf Mountain by teleporting to Catherby. So we're sort of doing two quests in one here. Or at least the first part of Family Crest while we're doing the RFD Dwarf. Okay, Falador. Shit, I don't have water runes. Four as Goldian Ales. Cool. And then we're gonna go to Cassabay. We are gonna talk to Caleb. There he is. Then we have to ask about his brothers. Okay, we've exhausted chat options. Just gonna shove these gloves on. And then we get a dwarf drunk. And pick up a couple of these while we're here. Just in case we need mining or smithing boost again at some point. Save us from having to buy them. There we go. 
Thank you very much. All right, that was literally it. So quick. We may even get to start Euro's quest today if we get through our cooking as well. I think I need to buy some more Karam ones to be honest, but use on the Mountain Dwarf. There we go. Five left to protect. There is a Slayer level. We are of course gonna get our upgraded gauntlets. It is mandatory even though it does nothing but waste time. Here's some steel gloves. Da 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 da! Okay, and now we're gonna go do family crest. Good to go. Don't think we need the ice gloves for this. Won't be hard to tell. The skills necklace for. It's more than mine. Yeah, we might want that. We'll take a games necklace as well, just in case, and it won't be hard to tell. I'll carry it. Talk to my man. Oh, I've got to buy a magic potion. I don't know if we have any doses left. We might have like just. A dose or something that I didn't sell because it was just a single. But we need it to boost for the uh, blast spells. Okay, Dwarven Mines, that's where we go. Skills Necklace, uh, Mining Gold. Don't think we have the level for this shortcut. 42, so close. Okay, over to Ardy. Well, that wasn't very nice. Should I have brought food? I mean, I can pray. Gives me a good excuse to get a stamina reset at Ferox when I'm done. All right, please no hellhound. I think I'll brought my pickaxe. Cause I didn't think about it. I must have just clicked it. Okay, we're gonna go reset and go to Edgeville. And make one each. Why is it set to all? Okay, I'm gonna drop a ruby so that I don't accidentally make two. Perfect ring, perfect necklace. Cool. And we're going back to the Alcarid mine, which is PvP arena is the quickest. I think I need to go back to the GE after that to get a magic potion. I'll be going to A Bank to check if I have one anyway, because I forgot to get one just then. So we may as well just do it at the GE in case we need to buy. Yep, nothing magic potion -y in that. Okay, uh, we don't need this anymore. We need our death runes as well, and we need magic combat gear. Okay, uh, I don't really need 100 more death runes, that should be plenty. Magic potion though. Oh, I'll get two dose just in case. So it's got a four, they're cheap enough. Okay, plus four bonus, that's all we needed. We've got the anti poison, got pretty much everything else. Do need a new wealth because ours just ran out, and our glory ran out too. So I'm getting a new one of those. Sell both the old ones. I'm gonna get another games necklace too. Another skills necklace. And also just gonna get a few hundred cramp ones. It's never gonna hurt to have too many. And I haven't figured out exactly how many I'm gonna need, so yeah, we'll just put an offer in. We'll put a slightly raised offer in for a couple hundred more. Whatever we get, we'll end up using them eventually because we have to get to 70 cooking overall. Okay, off to Varro. Use this on him. Perfect. Don't know if I actually need to go through these options. So, Edgeville. I'm not going to get PK'd here, am I? Level 5 wilderness. It's just not going to happen. I really want to carry a rune pouch and elks though when I don't have to, like it just seems, seems like I should put those away. Probably don't need all of those either, and we should get a little bit of food. Okay, do we have all types? Yes. We've got blasts, we've got magic, we've got stam. I think we're good. It's not a particularly difficult fight. I hate that I can't elk right now. <laughs> feels so inefficient. I just think it's better to be safe. I mean, I've never seen anyone PKing here, but you know, like for the for the small amount of time it takes to do this, who cares? I care. I care. <laughs> Fuck you, giving me a wilderness warning like I didn't spend the entire first season at fucking revs and green dragons. Okay, we could safe spot this guy anyway. Cool. Uh, not that. Right, we're gonna auto cast, I guess, Firebolt, and then we're gonna do Wind Blast, Water Blast. Oh, that didn't hit. It needs to hit. That hit. That hit. And then. Fire. There we go. Wait, did I not get all four in? 
Okay, that's got to be all four. There we go. Chris part, we're gonna go to... Sure, we'll get the ashes. Why not? Get a quick reset. Right, get the Alk stuff back out now. Don't need that anymore. Crest, crest. Bang in. Back to Varrock. That is family crest done. We are going to teleport straight to Camelot. Go over to Caleb in Catherby. And get ourselves the cooking gauntlets. Just unequipping all the stuff that will weigh me down at all. So I can bank it. Nice! Cooking gauntlets. Best in slot until we get the Barrow's gloves. Let's go. Okay, gonna just dump some of this shite. Uh, I don't suppose I really needed to, but... Birth up. I'm praying that I haven't overlooked something here. Let's go. I was afraid that door wasn't gonna open. Okay, so we have this guy and a fire right here. We've got 452 rock ones. We've got the ability to one tick them and fail them all. Here we go. This is where it starts. Let's see if I can get 50 cooking before I get carpal tunnel syndrome. I need to move that so that I can, yeah, deposit all. For anyone unfamiliar with what I'm doing, by the way, I'm just holding down space and then Every tick, or as best as I can to every tick, you want to use a Karamblan on the fire or the range while you're holding space. And this is like the best cooking rates you can get in the game, pretty much. When done correctly. Obviously better on a range than on a fire. If you have the Myth skilled, then the bank chest there is on a tile next to a range as well. So that is the best place to do this. Of course, you will get a lower, even lower burn rate if you use the Hosidious range. But that is not on the same tile as a bank. Jeez, I keep using them on other people. wonder if I have Entity Hider or if, uh, if that'll stop me clicking other people. I think it might. I think that might be worth it just for the minute. 43 that level was. Guess that makes that 44. Hope I have enough Karambons. Okay, we got 500 more Rock Karambons that bought, so we are absolutely fine. Not gonna have to move from this spot until we hit 50 cooking. Like I said, there were quests that we could do to do this, to get cooking XP. But I figure we're gonna have to go up to 70 anyway, so... Like, it's never gonna be bad for us to get cooking XP on this account at this stage. So, doing it quickly, just so that we can get the miscellaneous online, makes way more sense. Even though the burn rate is probably worse than if I'd done it the other way around. I just don't want to shove another bunch of quests before Hero's Quest. Wow, why did he have to walk right there? What a prick. That was 47. Three more levels to go. Wait, no, we need 53 cooking? She. I mean, we might be able to boost. Wait, is that us? I don't think I have a bank pin on this. Oh, no. I'm just gonna let that all cook for a sec while I check if you can boost Hero's Quest cooking requirement. Chef's Delight would give us a plus three, so yeah, we just need to get to 50. That's 48. Two levels to go. One more level to go. Looks like we're going to be starting Heroes Quest today. 47 successful Karam ones till level 50. There it is, 50. Alright. I'm just going to go start it because I know we're right next to where we have to start it. Uh, as long as we got a Ring of Julian on us, which we do. We'll just get the Alks. Okay, Port Sarim. Basically got to do the bits of this that don't require a partner because I haven't set up my old account to do it right now. So to my man. Okay, we need a Harrowlander potion. We don't have a wealth. We're also going to need a couple boosts. We're going to need a Chef's Delight. We've got the mining bit done already. Need a Harrowlander. And Dusty Key. 
We don't have a dusty key, but we don't care either. Vial of water. Put the Harrowlander in it. Put the slime in it. Do we need all the boosts? We need we need an Admiral Pie. Why did I fucking get rid of them both? I'm an idiot. And yeah, we've done the mining one. We're good there. I mean, we've done the ice gloves bit, so we can tick that off. Fire feathers easy enough. I need a rod. Not drink. Idiot. Uh, Tavoli Dungeon. Tavoli Dungeon. Best way to get there is a Falador Tele, I reckon. Pop of the wall. Can you get a Memorial Wreck too? I think that's where I've done this before. I don't remember going to this dungeon to do this. This is going to be a track though. Without the dusty key, all the shortcuts. Whew. Good job we got those elks. Wait, do we actually have to go and like... You'd have to kill someone, do you? You just have to go talk to the guy to get the key. In the bomb, but... Okay, where is this nerd? Kill the jailer. You do have to kill someone, shit. She uh, did not bring any combat stuff. Let's whack this bastard. Yeah, get fucked, mate. This may take a little while. I hope we don't use all our practice. I wanted it for preserve. Let's just flick. Oh, he's dead. <sighs> Door is locked. We'll use the fucking key then, you idiot. Alright, dusty key. Bada bing, bada boom. Leave that guy there. We don't give a shit about him. I didn't bring fishing bit. Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? What a fuckwit. What an absolute fuckwit. Flashback to yesterday when I said 1,500 fishing bit. Wow. Talking trash on the Temple Wasp rewards. I can't even speak now. Temple Wasp got me sounding like Jonathan Wasp. Fucking hell, mate. Fishing bit. You... Dickhead! Well, at least this time I only have to run through half of it. Oh, what an absolute melon. So much time lost there. How do you fuck that up? I swear I could have just gone to Moral Wreck as well. That would have been easier. I didn't do my research because I wasn't expecting to actually start Heroes Quest today. But apparently I'm a machine when it comes to cooking Karam ones. There's 56 magic. I don't actually know if we need more magic levels, or if it was just for Family Crest. Because the level that we needed for Family Crest was the level that I had down I needed. Oh, we can't even use that loose railing. And I don't have a stamina. Everything's coming up Millhouse! Right. Okay, we're gonna throw a preserve on. We are gonna eat an Admiral Pie, and we are gonna fish. I'm gonna get like three just in case I fuck them up. Oh, you cannot fail this. Okay. Well. Alright, we got a lava reel. I think next we should do the. We should just go. I'm just gonna tick this even though it's not done, just so it takes me to the next step. Okay, we don't want that anymore because it's a weapon. Can't bring it with us. True in the village. Oh, I didn't reset my prior. Not my prior, my run energy. I'm gonna go do it. It's worth it. Get a stamp too. Alright. Gonna go get this bird. Speaking of, bird houses are almost ready to collect in just a minute or two. So after we have done this, we are gonna go and do those. And then I'm just gonna start the Thieves Armband thing. Get up as far as we can with it. And that'll probably be about the end of the session. Ideally. Okay, that is the fire feather. Just need the Thieves' Armband. So we're going to Varrock after the Birdhouses. Birdhouses first. We would like a Dueling Ring. Our Birdhouse Supplies and our Runes. Okay, I'm gonna go to Fossil Island. For a 3 Hunter, I believe the next level is when we will get our Next level of birdhouse. Yeah, 44 is maple, which needs 45 crafting to make. So we're a few levels away. I'm planning to get them, and there's actually a ton of crafting XP available in Crest, so I've just been not prioritizing because there's been no reason to prioritize it. 
What if it means more birds' nests? Got some of it in the coming to do list after Legends Quest, to be fair. Reset once more. Dump this shit. Oh, we want a ranged attack option. I guess I'll go with mage because I actually have mage gear in the minute and I don't have <laughs> the uh, the range gear at the minute. We're not gonna need that till tomorrow though to be fair. I should probably just go do the Varrock bit and then prepare myself for another birdhouse run at the start of tomorrow. That makes more sense. Because I wanna do a birdhouse run before doing the rest of this quest anyway. Been a very solid day. That was the wrong door. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna have to set up my main. It needs a miscellaneous key, and then I'm meant to lure somebody. So, I'll be doing that, like, directly before tomorrow. Whatever my recording is. Uh, but yeah, that's that bit done. It's like, yes. We shall just get right back where we want to be. And that'll be that! All right, day 19 on the books. A very, very solid day of progress. We freed the Mountain Dwarf. We completed Family Crest. We got so much cooking XP. We gained 100,000 XP today, guys. 100,000 XP we gained today. That is absurd. Of course, it was all that one tick caramb one cooking that I did. 80,000 gained there. Where did the other 20k come from? There was 13k magic as well as we were just alking running around and then there's, yeah, five and a bit k hunter with the double birdhouse rooms. Wow, 100,000. All the way up to 50 cooking. A great development for us in that front and we did get a magic level as well to boot and a slayer level, weirdly. It's actually been an incredible day for the account. And we're about to finish Hero's Quest. We literally just need to do the step in Brimhaven that uses a partner. So I'll have that set up ready to go after we've cracked our birdhouses out tomorrow. We'll be straight to finishing Hero's Quest. And that means we should get our miscellanea online tomorrow and can start focusing on what it takes to free some more council members rather than having that looming over us as a uh, you should do this sooner rather than later type thing. But yeah, that is going to be all for this video. It's been a cracking one. Been busy, busy, busy and paying off all the hard work. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. It helps out a ton, pushes me into the algorithm and lets me know that you enjoy the content I'm creating. Leave a comment down below and tell me how much of a hero I am. Give me a score out of 7 for heroicness. Why the fuck not? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And as always, look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. See you on the next one.